Wolfsburg are top. Hoffenheim and Bayern are, are, are chasing that second Champions League place. Um, in terms of the Bayern team that you played in, how similar is this team? There's quite a few similar, quite a few of the same players. I think there's a different coach. How would you sort of sum up the team and who we should look out for? Yeah, I mean, the game is going to be a massive fixture. There's no doubt about that. I know that Hoffenheim have been a team in progress. Um, even since I was in the league as well, they have been a, a good team and it's always been hard to, to play against them. I know that. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a massive fixture. Player-wise, obviously, like you said, a lot of players have, have changed since I was there. I think there must be 10 or 11 different players in there. Um, and they've managed to get a lot of German international players as well. So, I mean, full of experience, quality, top quality players. I'm sure it'll be... A, a really fun game to watch. Obviously, the likes of Julia Gwynn and um, Verena Feist. I think she's injured, actually, but German international, still, they've still got a top, top team and I'm looking forward to watching the game. One player who always catches my eye, she always reminds me of uh, of Kim Little, is, is Dalman. Um, in the way she, she picks up the ball, runs with the ball, and brings other people into play in similar stature as well. Yeah, no, definitely. She's obviously a creative midfielder. Um, Ten position, I think, is... Yeah, creative midfielder and looks to get on the ball and wants it all the time and looks to make things happen. So she'll, if she plays, I think, on, on Saturday, she'll be the, the one to watch potentially and unlocking unlock Hoffenheim. That's it, Shinya Vegan, kind of three unicorn in Halmach. It's Shinya Yeshek and Razri, Lisa Evans. You went over to Germany as, as quite a young player as somebody who had, had been learning the game at a good level here. Um, at that point, how would you say, how big was the difference? How, how big a jump was it for you to go from playing for Glasgow City, playing the Champions League, to then find yourself off in a new country, a new club, new language and all that? Yeah, it took me at my comfort zone massively. It was honestly such a big a big prospect and one that I didn't ever think would come about and yeah something that I didn't want to miss out on it was just an opp opportunity that was too good to be true really um, and like I said I was right bang in, in middle of my university degree I had to put that on hold and I just took a leap of faith and it's turned out really well so. Now listening to um, I was listening recently to the Behind the Goals podcast but with uh, Leanne Crichton and Rachel Corsi, your Scotland teammates. Um, but you spoke really fondly talking to them about um, Bern Schroeder, the, who was the, the coach that had been a Potsdam when you went over. Um, but he had a terrible reputation as being a scary, really scary guy. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, I really, I really liked him. We got on really well. We had a good relationship. I almost thought he was just a nice, big old granddad. That's just kind of the figure that I, I, I saw from him and yeah, we got on really well. We had a really good relationship. I mean, I obviously ticked a lot of boxes in the fact that um, he was a player that I liked, especially physicality-wise. He was obviously, yeah, kind of really rooted to that kind of football, really direct, and it was all about being fast and quick. So, obviously, that ticked a few boxes at least. But probably as well, I didn't obviously understand everything that was going on around me. So, that was maybe a good thing in hindsight, I think. It, it seems to be getting a bit harder in Germany for the likes of Tribuna Potsdam. Uh, Frankfurt, teams who dominated, teams who've, who've won multiple European titles themselves. They've, they've now got that challenge from the more established men's clubs, Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim, Bayern Munich, who you were. Is it getting harder for them, would you say, to, to compete against the, even the facilities and the draw of these, these teams? Uh, no, yeah, without a doubt. Obviously, like you said, it's a standalone women's team, very much similar to, to Glasgow City. Um, I, I liked that aspect of it because it was very much family orientated. It was very much like a community um, and the whole of Potsdam got behind you and it was just a massive event. We, when we had a game on Sunday, it was a massive event in the town and it was just it was just great to be a part of that kind of family, if you like. When you moved from Turbina Potsdam to Bayern Munich, how big a change was that? I mean, you were staying within the same country, but Potsdam, to some extent, much more of a community club and Bayern, one of, just one of the biggest clubs in the world. Yeah, obviously the men's team, everyone knows them, massive team. Although we didn't have a, a massive affiliation with the men's team, we obviously very much trained our, in our own facility um, out in the middle of nowhere in Ashheim. Um, it was that concept of it, an aspect of it, was really similar to Potsdam. Um, 
still kind of standalone team if you like it wasn't too much affiliated now I know that the women's team are based at the men's training ground which is amazing I've heard the facilities are absolutely unbelievable um, unfortunately I left the year um, that they switched over so I missed out on that but um, yeah I mean similar in, in many ways and also really different um, yeah and the 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 German game is maybe it's maybe not quite at the peak it was in the years that and Potsdam won the European title twice and Frankfurt three or four times, I think. Lyon have been dominating recently. Where would you put the, the, the Frauen Bundesliga just now as a, as a par? Is it on a par with where you are in England, say? I, I still think so, yeah. I think it's still regarded as one of the best leagues, definitely, in the women's game. I think at the time that I was playing there, it was probably even potentially better than it, than it, than it is now. I do think there is a lot of players even coming over to England, going to America. Um, obviously Sweden's got a top league as well so there is other leagues I think that have definitely caught up with the, the German Bundesliga uh, Frauen Bundesliga um, I think at the time like I said I was there it was top top level and I do think you still see teams like Wolfsburg um, they're in year in year out um, Champions League finalists so although that Lyon do seem to be the top dogs I think top dogs <laughs> top dogs <laughs> I think Wolfsburg yeah obviously they seem there or thereabouts almost I think Maybe this year, even in Champions League, if it gets played, uh, they'll be there or thereabouts again because they are they're a top team, top side. If it gets played, that's one of the big questions everybody's got yeah. at, at the <laughs> moment. You, know, you were you were through to the latter stages of of the tournament yourselves with Arsenal, WSL. We know has been brought to an end. And it's yeah. just so frustrating that you you can't get to finish the season, particularly when you look at the Bundesliga starting. When you look at men's clubs, your, your colleagues at Arsenal all getting ready to restart. Yeah, I mean it is. It's disappointing, obviously. I think for us, the decision had to be made either way. Um, just kind of because we were still training and trying to to think of being back in the training pitch, and that was really difficult actually the past few weeks. And now that they've made this, the decision to just end it is obviously it's really disappointing for us we're sitting in third place and we'd like to have played those games and had the chance to finish first or second but it is what it is I think we need to look at the bigger picture and for everyone's safety and everything else that goes along with it I think it's probably probably the best decision and unfortunately it's it's disappointing but there's nothing else that we can do about it so yeah.